Uh, I was, all right. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, what we're now going to be looking at is again the same operation. You can see this is division, Deanna. So basically, what I want to make sure. Oh, Deanna, Deanna, you don't need to be actually listening. But yeah, you know. Okay. So the main important thing we want to do is again, same thing: simplify, apply, and then simplify. Now the last problem we couldn't simplify, but this one you could see we have a lot of factoring to do. Okay. Again, if you're having trouble with factoring, you're going to have to come and see me or show up to one of those events to get help with factoring because I'm going to do this quickly because otherwise this problem will take way too long. Basically, we're asking what two numbers multiply to give you 4, add to give you negative 5. That's going to be 1 minus 4 times y, or sorry, y minus 4 times y minus 1. Here I have two terms, Joseph, please. Here I have y squared minus 1. That's a difference of two squares. I can rewrite that as y minus 1 times y plus 1. Then, um, I guess I'll rewrite that as division. Here is again another example of difference of two squares, y minus three times y plus three. And then over here, what two numbers multiply to give you four, add to give you a positive five. Uh, that's going to be y minus four times y, I'm sorry, y plus four times y plus one. Please, I don't need any additional comments. So now, remember when we're dividing, that's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So I could have done that in the last step, but I'm just breaking it down for some of you to hopefully see a little bit clearer. So what I'm going to do is change this to a multiplication problem of the reciprocal. So that's y plus 4 times y plus 1 all over y minus 3 times y plus 3. Does everybody see what I have done? I simplified, I have my operation. Now multiplying is basically everything's just going to be together, right? It's just a big nice clump. So now I want to apply the division property. So whatever's in my denominator and whatever's in my numerator, I can divide out. Well, it looks like I have a y plus 1 and a y plus 1, and a y minus 1 and a y minus 1. That looks about it, right? So I can go to y minus 4 times y plus 4 all over y minus 3 times y plus 3. So you could leave the answer in factored form, or you could distribute, which would give you the difference of two squares, which would be y squared minus 16 over y squared minus 9. So either way, either answer would be acceptable, and either answer you may see on the test. So I don't know what format it is, so just make sure you understand how both of those are correct. Okay. For your homework, I prefer to have it factored 